let's chat about the perfumes that I use. Come along. So why do we love the perfumes that we really love and why are perfumes considered so exotic and why are they so expensive? With perfumes, especially if you're looking for a good perfume, is expensive because of the kind of extracts they use on it or it also could be the natural flowers that they harvest. A lot of the perfumes use the purest first burst flowers from the French valleys. So, you know, it is expensive. In luxury, it's very, very hard to justify the cost factor. But what you really enjoy is the exclusivity of the product and you enjoy the fact that the product is made with such care and is um, you know packaged in a way to give you absolute joy i have many many favorite perfumes you know i mean i just love perfumes as you can always tell right a lot of you requested for this video in this video i'm going to be talking about one of my favorites which i've used for almost over 20 years and something that i've used a little but i've used it over the last 10 years and a new product that I've picked up recently during my Dubai visit. The first and the eternal favorite of absolutely all fashion divas or classic perfume lovers in the world is the Chanel No. 5. Chanel No. 5 has a story. Now, all of these luxury products have a story around them. That's what makes them so unique and makes them so beautiful and makes them so um, you know, people long for it so much, right? So Chanel No. 5 was introduced by Coco Chanel on the 5th of May. That was her lucky number. And this is kind of a path-breaking perfume because, uh, you know, um, she had Marlon Monroe, who is such a sex symbol, in fact, a beauty symbol, and one of the most loved actresses in Hollywood. Talk about this perfume, nude. Yeah, she shot about, shot this campaign in her bed just under the sheets and it was a viral hit in those times right because nobody had done that nobody has spoken about a perfume like this and most importantly nobody has spoken about a perfume from her bed and Marlon Monroe did it and this became an overnight absolutely needed perfume for all the fashionistas and Hollywood A-listers in the world and it continues to be it is expensive and the cost kind of justifies it. So, you know, you don't use too much of it. You just use very little. Later on in the video, I'm going to be talking about how do you use perfume because that is also incredibly important. So this is a classic. You use it on your special nights. Those special nights could be the day you're celebrating yourself or celebrating your love or celebrating your family or whatever, a day that you want to remember and the day you want to feel special. Those days you bring out your Chanel number no. five, and you spray it very, very lightly. The next perfume which has stayed with me was a gift by one of my friends is the Versace Red Jeans Woman. This is um, a kind of a young perfume, but was given to me by a very special friend. Versace is a very, very luxury brand. Right? Even the lid has the Versace head on it. You know, it has the crest on it, if you can see it. And uh, it comes in this beautiful bottle. As you can see, I've hardly used this perfume. It is sweet smelling. Sweet is generally not my uh, choice of perfumes. I like them to be musky and woody, but uh, it still falls beautifully. And uh, this is a perfume you'd want to use when you're feeling fresh, you're going out somewhere for lunch, when you're going out for a lunch, you're going out with friends, you know, you are in a flirty mood and you know it kind of brings you memories of flowers and joy and uh, vivaciousness and um, feeling young feeling youthful and all of that so red jeans by Versace I don't know if this is still in circulation because I haven't seen it any of the stores that I've gone to recently but it was a gift from a very special friend so it continues to be with me and I use it very sparingly but I think I should use more of it don't you think <laughs> So while picking up perfumes, it's important to understand the kind of fragrant strength that you want, which means oh, how strong do you want your perfume. Eau de Parfum or Eau de Parfum is between 10 to 20% strength and lasts for almost 8 hours or longer. Eau de Toilet is 5 to 15% and is a midway strength. So it won't last as long as the Parfum does, but it's going to last you say about 5 to 6 hours. 
Udi cologne is about 2 to 4% strength and does not stay for more than 2 to 3 hours. There's also the Udi Frasse or Frasse as the French call it that is 1 to 3% strength and will last you for under 2 hours. Once you know how strong or how long lasting your perfume is, you can choose between any of the four categories. Udi perfume of course are the most expensive perfumes and as you go down, perfumes get cheaper. The last perfume that I picked up recently on my way uh, from Dubai was from the store. I didn't pick it up from these stores which have a lot of perfumes. I went to the Joe Malone store and picked up this particular perfume. Hmm? It comes beautifully packed in its own package of black paper. It has velvet rose and it's got these nice notes of wood and fresh flowers it is expensive you know i love to indulge in myself i mean what the hell am i working for if i'm not going to buy the things that i want to buy and i think the older i'm getting i want to have as less regrets as i possibly can because i don't want to then tomorrow feel array i should have done this no regrets so i love the bottle i love the packaging and i love the perfume so if you're in the mood for being you know covered in a valley of flowers and you're feeling joyful and you're happy you're with friends this is a beautiful perfume it's also a great date night perfume is what i realized it's a great perfume if you want to invest in and again this is not a perfume you're going to use too much of it you're going to use it you know over a period of time it's definitely going to last you for three to four years. The thing is when you start collecting these expensive perfumes, you realize that it's not something you're going to be using so frequently, so it's worth the investment. But it just gives you a lot of choices when you want to wear a perfume to suit your different needs. I have a separate set of perfumes which I use for my daily wear, you know, if I'm going to for work daily or even at home. And that is a separate uh, video, I guess. Let me know what your favorite perfumes are and, uh, you know, as luxury and also as part of daily use. And we can have a series on perfumes. Now, the right way to use perfume is to just spray it on your wrists. You're not supposed to rub it because that breaks the molecule, the perfume molecule, and that kind of spoils the aroma that it can give you. So just a spray here. And a little bit here and here, basically all on your pulse points. The best way to use perfume apparently is to create an envelope of perfume and walk through it because a lot of the perfume then sits on your hair and that is where perfume smells the best or stays the longest because it kind of gets a little absorbed into your hair. If you don't want to do that, you can just spray all over your hair like that. For more on perfumes, I'm going to meet you in the comment section.